Hi, this is Maura here from GMIT Library. We're going to do a short video today where I'll show you how to access journal articles using GMIT Library search and find discovery function. We're going to start off at the library homepage, GMIT, library.gmit.ie. And ensuring you're logged in as a staff or student of GMIT, we can start off at this page. This is a great one-stop shop for all library-related information, including details on all four campus libraries. You have access to all our library guides and also all our booking features, including booking study spaces, online tutorials, etc. To do search for any type of library material, you can key your search words into the search and find panel here on the left hand side. This search will enable you to find library material from all types of content, including books that are on the shelves in our campus libraries, as well as items for our online ebook and database collections. You can go directly to advanced search if you have a combination of keywords and authors to search from, or you can do a basic search, which you can narrow down using the different filters once your search has been performed. And this is what we're going to do now. We're going to start off with the topic search, and we're going to use the search term Brexit. So we just key it into the search box here. When we do a basic search, we are searching through a quite a large range of material. This includes books from all four campus libraries in print, as well as a collection of over 250,000 ebook titles. It also includes journal articles that come from our subscription databases. So you will know that the set of results for our Brexit search has yielded 437,749 items. So that is quite a few. However, we can narrow this down very easily using the filters here on the left hand side. So if we scroll down under where it says refine results, we have our limits and we can see available in the library collection is selected by default, but we can choose an ebooks only or a print books only limiter or also limit to items from our research at the repository. We also see there's a publication date uh, limiter. So because Brexit is a fairly recent topic, we know the oldest article here goes back to 2008. We can narrow down our re results by pulling the slider forward. And we are telling the database that we just want items that have been published from 2017 on. So this again will reduce our set of results down to 340,268. However, we will narrow down further. And if we go down onto the next set of limiters, we see they come under source types. And you will see the types of material that are here. As Brexit has been a fairly newsworthy topic, it's no surprise that news has the highest number of items at 129,000. You also have limiters of magazines and trade publications. But what we are looking for today are the academic journals. We're going to select this one. We'll see our set of results has been reduced down to 9378. This is again quite a large number, but please bear in mind when you get a set of results from this search and find discovery feature, they always default to the most relevant at the top. Going by our search term, Brexit, it will say those on the top of the list have the highest relevance in that the search term is included in the titles or the authors or the abstract or the subjects. So it is always worthwhile to have a look at some of these to see if they will be of use or not. If we look at one of these articles in more detail by clicking on the link for the title at the top, we will see the record for this. And you will see the title on the top in boldened, followed by the authors. Usually for academic journals, there are most works are collaborations, so there will often be more than one author. You will see the source, which will link you to the title of the journal in which this article was published, the date, the volume and issue and pages, which will enable you to retrieve this article in the future. If we scroll further down, 
You will also see the database has applied subject terms, and these would be from the control vocabulary, which will enable easy search and retrieval. The next item is the abstract, and this is very useful for you if you're trying to see if this will be of use to your research. Note how your search term Brexit is emboldened in the abstract, so immediately you can see the context in which it is used. To view the full text of the article, click on the green button over on the left-hand side, which will open up the full text if it is in PDF, or if it's in HTML, it will give you the option of HTML or PDF. Here we can see this is a large article, as many academic journal articles are. So there are several pages that you can scroll through. To return to your set of results, there is a little arrow to results on the top and the blue bar. So we can click on that. Let's have a look at focusing our search a little bit further. And we want to find out the implications that Brexit has for Ireland. So we're going to add Ireland into the keywords and just say search again. When we adjust our search like this, it is like doing a brand new search. So we're going to have to scroll down and apply our filters again. So when we choose academic journals, we will see our set of results is reduced down to 234. So it's a little bit more manageable. Again, we can look at the most relevant titles. And if we think some of these are going to be of use to us, but we don't have the time to look at them right now, we can simply add them to the folder by clicking on the little plus folder symbol on the right hand side. So this will add them into a folder. To view them, you have a folder icon at the top bar. So when you click on this, you will see these items are added into your folder now. And you will see your name in your folder at the top. Because you were already signed into your own account, these will be always available to you here unless you delete them. So click on the back button to go back to your list of results. We're going to have a look now at the advanced search. And again, this is a very useful feature. If you want to focus in your search results a little bit more, it will make your list a bit smaller, but ideally will have more relevant results for you. You see, we've put Brexit Ireland into the one search box, and this was the default search. So it was searching through all text and all fields that are listed. But you can select a particular feed if you wish. And you'll see you have all text, author, title, subject terms, source, which is the journal name, abstract, or ISBN and ISSN. We're going to add a third search term here, and this time we're going to ask the database to return re items that contain the term agriculture. But this time we're going to select the field abstract as we want agriculture to have significant meaning in our article. When we click on search with Brexit Ireland as keywords and agriculture coming from the abstract, we get 48 results. So this is a little bit more manageable. At this point, I usually click on page options because there's such a small set of results to 50 results per page, as I don't want to be saying next page at the end of every 10. But this is just my personal preference. You may also notice that one or two of the results in this list have an orange submit document supply purchase request instead of the green full text button. So this will imply that we don't have full access to the full article, but we get information about the article. If you wish to order the full text, we have a document supply department in the library. And if you click on the button, you will see where it has already pre-filled the article details and you just need to fill in your own details at the top. In some cases, there may be a charge for this service, but we will generally let you know by email. If we scroll down and we look at item 23 on this list, there are just two other things I wish to draw your attention to. Firstly, on the right hand side, we have the retrieval options. So this is where you can add to folder or 
print, email, save, and cite, or you can export, create a note for further reference. You also have the permalink. So this is the link you will use when you're putting the information on this record into your references. The other thing I want to show you are the subject headings that are used in this article. You will see the subject terms here, and the first one is the British withdrawal from the European Union 2016 to 2020. There's no mention of the word Brexit here. If we click on this link, it will do a brand new search in the entire database for this particular term known as a descriptor or subject heading. And you'll see we have returned over 33,000 search results. Looking very quickly, at the first one or two in the list, you will notice that they don't contain the word Brexit. So if you remember when we did our first search, we used the word Brexit, but these results here may not have retrieved. So that is why it is always worthwhile to have a look at the subject headings when you're searching databases for journal articles. That's all for me in this video. I hope you find it of use and I will see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching.